And this Friday, we're also watching a very busy travel time as troubled Southwest Airlines is working to get back on track after a week of meltdowns. At our local airports, the airline's flights are all listed on time today. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now live at TF Green International Airport in Warwick with the latest. Kayla. Well, Kate, as you mentioned, all uh, things are good for Southwest today. Only one Southwest flight into TF Green was canceled here. All other arrivals and departures are currently on time. In the meantime, there's still rows of luggage downstairs near baggage claim waiting to be reunited with their owners. And for Southwest, the focus now turns to making things right for those who were affected. I never experienced something like this. Ingrid Medeiros of Coventry was supposed to arrive back in Rhode Island, bags and all, on Christmas Day. She was one of thousands flying southwest who would be thrust into a travel nightmare. We flew from Savannah to Chicago. Chicago was the worst in like a war zone. People in the floor feeding kids. Terrible. After numerous cancellations and a hotel stay, she eventually got a flight to Philadelphia and rented a car to drive back to Rhode Island. But her bags were nowhere to be found. It's terrible. The worst. Friday morning, Ingrid finally got her luggage. Now she wants to be reimbursed for her troubles. Because we have spent like a, about, I would say, 3,000 in all those flights canceled. So I'm looking now that all the airlines that they canceled to us too, they reimbursed the money. And of course, Southwest should pay at least for the hotel. And we pay Uber back and forth and all the stuff. Food, everything. And she's not alone. An estimated one million passengers were impacted by Southwest's operational meltdown over the holidays. The airline is now accepting requests for reimbursement from travelers affected from Christmas Eve through January 2nd. Not only for tickets, but meals, hotels, and alternate transportation. Though the airline said those reimbursements could take weeks. And in a letter to Southwest CEO late yesterday, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg called these disruptions, quote, unacceptable. Buttigieg then posted on Twitter promising to Southwest customers they would hold the company accountable and make sure those refunds get to those who need them. Live in Warwick, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.